Pasternak tracked by Labushkin, who has 10 hits in the game. Lindholm sends it in, and it's Pasternak scores! Series winner for David Pasternak and the Bruins! David Pasternak has ended the Maple Leaf season, and now there will be the night of the long knives, I'm sure. This moment was supposed to be the impetus to change in Toronto. This moment was supposed to be the moment change could no longer be ignored after a seventh first round exits in eight seasons. This moment, it was said by fans and pundits alike, was going to force meaningful change. And that change was supposed to start with a franchise altering trade. Mitch Marner rumors continue to swirl. Change is inevitable for this team with player personnel, and it starts with Mitch Marner. The Toronto Maple Leafs are going to do everything within their power to try and make something happen. They could go full bore scorched earth. That means you got to trade Mitch. Maybe is it better to go somewhere else? There's a better chance that it happens this summer than next March. However, as puck drop on the 2024-25 season approaches, that change never came. Instead of a change to the core, it was, again, a change around the core. Craig Berube, hired to replace the dismissed Sheldon Keith, brings a Stanley Cup pedigree to the bench as the new head coach. A moderately new defense core will patrol the blue line, headlined by free agent acquisition Chris Tanev, but the forward group remains largely unchanged. The biggest impact fans will see up front comes in the form of a wardrobe change, with Austin Matthews inheriting the captaincy from John Tavares. But the biggest change in Leafland this offseason came in the front office, or make that the corner office. This is the first time I've spoken publicly at a news conference as the CEO of MLSE. Good is simply not good enough. When Keith Pelly was introduced as the new president and CEO of Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, he came in guns a blazing. The new sheriff indicated that past results simply weren't good enough. The fans here not only deserve but demand a championship. And there's no complacency. We're not here to sell jerseys. We're here to win. And we're going to do everything we possibly can to do that. And with those words on the heels of that moment, the idea that meaningful change was coming felt real. But instead, the core four will return intact. But now, a new boss is expecting bigger and better results, meaning if that moment happens again, change must come, right? There was talk of the 2023-24 season being a last dance for this Leafs core. This season, the Titanic is heading for an iceberg. The band is queued up. You're either going to steer to safety or you're going down with the ship.